with the use of neoadjuvant chemotherapy in node positive patients, we're really trying to look to de escalate surgical care. Axillary lymph node dissection is a very morbid procedure, uh, which results in long term risks of lymphedema, which I think is a huge quality of life issue for many patients. In clinically node positive patients, we can use neoadjuvant chemotherapy to de escalate that surgical care. But we also have to recognize that by doing that, we need to do it safely. So we pick patients who have excellent responses to chemotherapy. The HER2 positive and the triple negative breast cancer patients seem to have the best response, and it's in those patients that we really see reductions in the likelihood of axillary dissection. The hormone receptor positive HER2 negative patients have a little bit of a less a uh, less brisk response to neoadjuvant chemotherapy, but we can still downstage a substantial number of those patients. And I think by using neoadjuvant chemotherapy to de-escalate surgery, we're going to improve the quality of life for many breast cancer survivors. But as I said, it's really important to do this safely and to not omit axillary lymph node dissection after chemotherapy in patients who have residual disease in the nodes. Those patients still require axillary dissection until we have data demonstrating otherwise.